In this presentation, we will enter a pay bills form. In other words, in the past, we've entered the bills, increasing the accounts payable. This time, we're going to be entering the payment of the bills, decreasing accounts payable, decreasing the cash account. It's time to engage with Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We're currently in the Customer and Sales section. We're going to move on down to the Vendors and Purchases section. What we're going to be doing now is doing the pay bills. So we can think of that as a form, the pay bills type of form. What we had in the past was an enter the bills. So in order to pay the bill, we had to first enter the bill. We have the bills in place. And when you enter a bill, it's going to be increasing the accounts payable and increasing some other side, such as an expense or possibly inventory or something like that. When you pay the bill, then of course, it's going to be decreasing the accounts payable and the other side is going to be going to the checking account. Now, there's going to be a couple type ways we can make the payment. We can make the payment with check or other type of format of payment. We can see on the right hand side, this is going to be our list of vendors. This is one way we can kind of sort our vendor list on top and we can see the balances that are due in this format. We can also run reports for an accounts payable report, such as an accounts payable aging type of report. And that might look something like this. If we go to the reports drop down, go to the, uh, find, let's go to the accounts payable, actually. Let's go to the accounts payable. And then we want to take a look at the, let's take a look at the vendor uh, aged payables. Let's go up to the aged payables. Now there's not going to be a whole lot going on with our aged payables because we only have this one here. But there's the 15,000 for the aged payable and that'll list the vendors and also list, you know, how outstanding uh, some of these items are for them. So that's one report that uh, we can take a look at for it. Also, if I close this back out, close this back out, when we go to the pay bills, there's a couple different ways we can pay bills. We might pay one at a time in this format. We can obviously use the write a check and we can say the uh, pay, pay multiple bills. If we select pay multiple bills, we'll get a data screen such as this for the check date invoice due before or uh, discounts. So I'll keep that uh, as is and just check, take a look if I say OK, it'll give us basically a list once again of our um, bills that are owed and we can decide which ones to pay. And if we pay them by check, then we could say we want to pay them by check or some other type of format. If we choose to pay them by check, then we can go through the printing of the checks through the process and, and assign the check numbers in that process as well. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use the other method where I'm just going to pay Epiphone so I can see that we owe Epiphone the 15,000. Let's close this back out and say we we're just going to pay one at a time. I'm going to say, you have invoices. Do you want to print these checks? I'm going to say no. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to pay bills and we're going to say pay bill. So I'm just going to say pay bill. And I want to make this bill payment to Epiphone because that's the one we owe over here. So I'm going to say Epiphone. That's who we want to pay. Notice it jumps to the left-hand side on the tabs at the bottom. So now we jump to the left-hand side because that's the 15000 that we owe. So it's saying, hey, you owe Epiphone 15000 Is that the one you want to pay? And we're going to be like, yeah, that's the one we want to pay. And so then we're going to have a reference number. I'm just going to put a reference number here. We're going to then put the date. Let's say 013020 for January 30th and then we can select the payment type it could be a check or some other payment I'm going to keep it as the cash type and then I'm going to say uh, the little checkbox down here and say check that off that'll give us the 15,000 that we're going to pay so it looks like a check but again you can use this form this is a form this is a payments type of form you can think of it as and you can have then uh, the check or some other format to use this payment type of form. So then it's going to be coming out of the checking account rather than the cash on hand account. So that's the one that we want. And the other side, uh, if we go down here, is going to, well, this is a purchase discount. So we don't have a purchase discount on it. So what's going to happen when we record this? It's going to decrease the accounts payable, reducing the accounts payable by that 15000 down to, I believe, zero. The other side is going to be coming out of, of course, the cash account. Let's go ahead and save it and then check it out. So we're going to say save yes please and then i'll close this one out and then we'll go on back to our uh, reports let's go back to our reports up top we're going to then go down to our let's go to the financial reports this time and we want to take a look at the balance sheet let's take a look at the balance sheet and then let's bring the date to january so i'm going to bring the range from january 1st to january 31st and then select that i'm going to maximize it over here and then we'll go into the checking account. If we go on into the checking account, there's the 15,000 that we have then paid. Double clicking on that 15,000, we get to, of course, 
our check type form, not an actual check because we paid it cash this way, but this is basically the money out type of form. Closing this back out, and, and obviously again, it's going to the first tab as opposed to the, to the second tab because we're applying that out. That means, in essence, it's applying it out to a bill. Closing this back out, so there's going to be our transaction. Closing this back out, the other side's in the accounts payable. We don't see an accounts payable here. Now, why? Because we paid it and they're all paid up. It's gone. It's zero. What if I want to drill down on it? What if I want to zoom in on it? Well, we can show the zero balances for that for that reason, or that's one reason where it's nice to have the zero balances that we can show. So we can go up top and we say, hey, would you show me the zero amounts, Sage? And then OK, and Sage is like, yeah, we can show those. And then if we go down to the liabilities, then you have the zero amount, but there's still activity in it. So we can do the zoom thing in into the zero amount. And there's the 15,000. So there's the 15,000, double click in the 15,000. That then takes us back to our form. Closing this back out, closing this back out. And uh, that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.